Welcome to Swamiko United Methodist Church's Ash Wednesday service. We are glad you can join us in worship. Please join us in our worship service. Please join me in the unison prayer. God, we will never forget the full extent of your life, of your love. As we begin this holy season of Lent, help us to see that you are with us always, even when we wander from you. We ask you to change our hearts so we can become better followers of your son, Jesus. With the help of your grace, may our prayers and sacrifices over the next 40 days lead us to welcome him so that we can greet him as one family at Easter. We make this prayer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we are going to have our opening song by Eva. The Gospel reading comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound the trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you.
The old English word Lent refers to lengthening of day. In other words, Lent means that days are getting longer and spring is on the way. Lent starts with Ash Wednesday and ends on Easter Sunday. There are 46 days from Ash Wednesday to Easter, but as Sundays are considered to be mini Easter's, there are 40 days in Lent. During the Lenten season, Christians have 40 days of spiritual disciplines such as a Bible reading, prayer meditation, penance, fasting, almsgiving, and charity. On Ash Wednesday, priests or pastors put ash on the forehead on the, or on the back of a Christian's hands and say, remember man that you are dust and unto dust you shall return. When we realize that we are mortal beings, we begin to appreciate the fact that we are still alive. Despite all our problems and troubles, being alive is a great privilege. We still can see, we can hear, we can smell, we can taste, we can touch, and we can feel. A foolish man acts as if he will live here forever. But a wise man often thinks about death. The knowledge of our eventual death gives us urgency, beauty, and meaning of life. No matter how healthy, wealthy, or lucky we may be, we are bound to die sooner or later. The real meaningful question is, how will we make the best and the most of our time on earth? One of my favorite Bible verses comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12. It says, there is nothing better for a man than to be happy and to do good while he is alive. So be happy for yourselves and do good for other people. Jesus put it this way. Love your neighbors as yourself. People in the world are suffering because we don't listen to Jesus. We don't obey his commandments. Jesus once said, if you have two coats, give one to a person who has none. It is reported that in the US, 20% of Americans own 86% of the national wealth. The remaining 80% of Americans share 14% of the national wealth. If Jesus to, says to the American people, if you have two coats, give one to a man who has none. Feed the hungry, heal the sick. If you have medical insurance, work for society where poor, poor people can also have medical insurance. Some people might say to Jesus, Jesus, are you a communist or a socialist? Jesus might say, don't label me. I'm bigger than any labels. I just have compassion for the poor, the powerless, and the underprivileged. You should also be compassionate to other people because one day you may be poor, sick, old, or lonely. 
Jesus told the story about a rich man, rich fool. As he was rich, he had a big mansion. He had a banquet every day. In front of his mansion, there lived a homeless man named Lazarus. Lazarus was poor, sick, and lonely. The only friend Lazarus had was a street dog who came and licked his wounds. That was his only consolation. One day, both the rich man and Lazarus died at the same time. The rich man went to hell while Lazarus went to heaven. The table was turned. Lazarus was now enjoying the comfort of heaven while the rich fool was agonizing in burning hell. It was too late by the time when the rich fool realized that he should have been less greedy, less selfish, and more charitable to his poor neighbor. The moral of the story is that we need to seize the moment to be kind to one another. Jesus taught his disciples, when you do good deeds for other people, don't brag, don't blow your own trumpet. Do good deeds in secret. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. If you do good deeds in secret, God will reward you. The famous writer Charles Lamb said these beautiful words, the greatest pleasure I know is to do a good action by stealth and have it found out by accident. So when you do good deeds for other people, when you do good deeds for our church, Let's be humble. Let's not blow our own trumpet. God, who sees in secret, will reward you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we don't know what the future holds. We don't even know when God will call our name. And we fly away from this temporary stay on earth. Help us to be prepared for our eternal life by living wisely, being kind to ourselves, and being kind to each other. We pray this in the name of the Lord who taught us all to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now it has been a Christian tradition that uh, we have a short ritual of the imposition of ashes on Ash Wednesday. As we have uh, online service right now, we don't have ashes to uh, impose so let's have a, a, a symbolic ritual of which the meaning is the same. So I make a, a cross with my finger on your head and I say, remember man that you are dust and unto dust you shall return. While you are still alive, 
be happy and be kind to one another. Amen. Closing song by Eva. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace.